Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. I'm sitting in a parking lot of a church in Vicksburg, Mississippi. It's a great church. It's a beautiful plant. <clears throat> I've got some time on my hands and I, I walked the length of the parking lot twice and got a little bit of exercise in. And I said, well, I'd like to talk to the people for a moment before I pull away. And here's what I'd like to say to you. Many years <clears throat> in Chicago, there was a crowd of people going to the train station to welcome a Nobel Prize winner. And so they were all excited about seeing him and all of a sudden he he got off of the train and he was walking to the towards them and some of them was hollering welcome and so forth. And he said, Folks, would you excuse me just a moment? <clears throat> And he went around the crowd and there was an old, older lady there. He reached and got two of her suitcases and walked with her and put them on the train. And when she got on real good, he came back to the crowd. The crowd was in awe. That was Albert Schweitzer, the man that had helped so many poor people in Africa. That was his job. <laughs> that was his calling. Yeah. Some of us have our shingle out saying, what we are, that we are called and we want to help people. Why, we are a Sunday school teacher. Why, we're a minister. We, but sometimes we don't, we let some things go undone that maybe we could or we should do. I'm sure that's the case in my case. But uh, compassion, compassion, call, a desire to help. I've seen young preachers and I'm sure older preachers. They talk about preaching, they talk about flying away, going long distance and preaching special meetings. Well, that's all okay, that all comes in the realm of doing the will of God a lot of times. But don't forget the little old lady struggling. Go take her bags and let the crowd wait for a minute if it has to be. Do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. God bless you.